Hi guys and welcome back to another Doctor Ace video and today we're going to be playing Ride 5 and today we're going to be checking out Rory Skinner's Cheshire Mouldings BMW M1000 Double R of course brand new and fresh team for the 2024 BSB Championship very excited to see Rory Skinner back in British Superbike it's a bit of a selfish thing actually I'm happy that he's back in BSB but I'm also sad that he's no longer in Moto2 but honestly I love BSB, so it's going to be great to have Rory back in uh, British Superbike. But, of course, importantly, I need to give a massive shout-out to Cheshire Charlie for making this fantastic, beautiful BMW livery right here in Ride 5. I must confess, it looks great. Loved it when I seen it, and thankfully was straight on it to make another brilliant BSB. Oh, goodness me, I almost went off the track there. Apologies. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you to Cheshire Charlie. It looks fantastic, and honestly... I think uh, Rory could be looking at maybe a couple of victories this season. Who knows? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it right now that I hope he does, and I certainly expect he will. Now, of course, I was looking at Rory Skinner's previous races in BSB, and I was trying to figure out which was the best circuit that Rory had a time on in 2022. Now, I realised something that the tracks he last won at Silverstone and uh, Knock Hill was it aren't in the game, so unfortunately I can't actually run the track that he won at. So the last podium for Rory Skinner was right here in BSB, right here in Cadwell Park. So I just need to change some electronics. Apologies, guys. I've not uh, prepared for this one. I've just put ABS on one as well, apparently, so that needs to come off. <laughs> I need to change the TS TCS as well. Almost lost the front going into the right-hander. I'm not prepared to play Ride 5 here today, but I just had to show this wonderful livery. I just think it's so good. And if I ever need an excuse to play Cadwell Park, uh, there isn't ever a time you need to make an excuse, but I can make the excuse for it. I love this circuit. It's absolutely brilliant. It's what keeps rides so special. All the BMW motorcycles, the Kawasaki's you can't usually use and like some GP. So good to jump on this game and play with bikes such as these, but yeah. BSB predictions. I would like to see Rory Skinner get a couple of victories with the BMW team. But uh, who knows what's going to happen. In fact, still a lot of question marks regarding BSB. Where is Glenn Irwin going? I think he might be teasing us with the whole Moto America idea. I certainly hope he doesn't go to America. I'd much rather him stay and uh, finish the story, let's say. Glenn Irwin, I expected to win for, what, two years in a row now? Difficult to beat Brad Ray a couple of years ago, of course, but very close towards the end and then losing in the final showdown I mean, I don't like the term losing you don't lose in motorcycle racing, you just finish second, <laughs> you're the bridesmaid not the actual bride itself but uh, Leno we're missing out on half a point in Brands Hatch in one of the best seasons of BSB in quite a while I expect him to come back and uh, probably finish the story with Ducati Keep hearing rumours of a possible team with Ducati and seeing Shaky Burns involved somewhere as well. Don't know how true that is, but would like to see something very, very soon because I can't wait any longer for Glenn. And maybe then Cheshire Charlie or the Belgian Ace Sergio will make a livery as I've just gone down here into the park corner. Completely made a mess of that one. Looking like Andy Irwin taking out uh, Scott Redding many, many years ago. Still very sluggish on Ride 5, I must confess. <laughs> I've just. It's so hard to jump to this game and then bounce back over to MotoGP. And as I've said many times before, without sounding like a stuck record, it is the lack of feeling and vibration in the controller. But it's worth it to go through it when you can play with liveries and bikes like this. <laughs> it really is. So let's see if we can start improving a bit. Now that I've actually had that first crash, it's like the inhibition has gone. So now I'm not too worried about making a mess in some of these corners. Yeah, it's actually given me a bit, of, a bit of confidence, you know. When I inadvertently played with ABS-1 by a moment ago, that actually felt a little bit better, I think. I don't know why, but I just felt like I had more vibration. Mm, oh, wow. <laughs> Let me try ABS-1 for a second. Now, this seems like criminal, but... actually feels like I've got more vibration in the controller. Is that a glitch, or is that just completely... No, there's no, there's absolutely no vibration under, under braking though, absolutely nothing. The vibration only seems to be present. 
under acceleration. I think I might have discovered a glitch here. I have no vibration pretty much when ABS is off. But when ABS was on one, I actually had vibration under acceleration. Strange. I think I actually changed the engine brake to three in this one as well. I was, I wanted to try something new. I just wanted to test the water and see what engine brake three would be like rather than four. Let me know in the comments section down below what uh, EB you guys use. EB being engine brake, of course. I'm going to try something rather drastic here. I'm going to reduce the engine brake down to zero. See if that feels any better. I just didn't even brake properly then. <laughs> Apologies, this was about the livery, but now I'm trying things new. Into the left and back across. No, actually, without engine brake, that feels really strange. No. <laughs> That's not for me. That is definitely not for me. I'd stick to where I am then. So after this is out of the way with, I can get back to the to the time trial with Rory Skinner's BMW. On to, ooh, a bit deep there, steady on. Decided to run crash control again with this big bike. As I mentioned in the bike recently when we did the Valentino Rossi livery, coincidentally also made by Cheshire Charlie. I felt that the thousand cc's in this game just don't feel good. I know there's been a, a request for Ulster with, an, with a 1000cc RM motorcycle, but I'm not thrilled to do in that video until I find an R1, excuse me, an RM bike of a 1000cc that actually feels good. I might have to go for a 600cc instead. I just find the 600s are really good in this game, but anything to a 1000 and above don't feel that nice. That's cool though, that's good, that's a good entry into the gooseneck there. Bit, bit eager on the uh, acceleration, getting a small wheelie. Because a motorcycle like the M1000 has a lot of power, so it's able to really chuck up. <laughs> oh, I almost lost the... Oh, oh, oh. I almost lost it then. That was it. That would have been curtains, ladies and gentlemen. Back across to the right-hand side. Steady up. Giddy up over the uh, mountain. Back over to the left-hand side. This is the Hall Bend's corner. I always feel significantly slower in this game, I really do. Out of the loop from ride, really am. But we are improving. Hopefully by the time we conclude today's video, I'll be in a much better state than we are right now. Across the line in 128.635 for lap number five. I'd like to get into the 127. Still don't think that's a good lap time. Maybe I'll check the leaderboards later on, but as it stands, I'm getting the feeling. But that is not really the purpose of today's video, is this, this beautiful livery. I had heard some mixed reactions amongst the aces, but uh, personally for myself, I think it's a gorgeous livery. It's different for the BMWs. Whoa, wow. <laughs> we've seen green BMWs in the past, we've seen blue, we've seen red. We've seen yellow, of course, as well for the 100th year anniversary of the M1000, or M series. Ooh, again. Really, really close there. Oh, man. So sluggish right now. In a cloudy Cadwell day. Okay. And that was much better. Felt a lot of power coming out the left-hand side there. Just trying to be more steady. Here we go. This is looking better. Into the tight and twisty hall bends. Back across to the right, straighten up ever so slightly, and get already onto the brakes. Beautiful. Quick upshift a second. Must confess, the upshift seem to be working very nicely in this game. Just gives me more feeling. Learning every day, ladies and gentlemen. Every day is indeed a school day. On to the left. That's another lap time increase. 127.802. Probably still miles away from our actual best times, but... Yeah, this is feeling better. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting there. Took a few laps. Early lap woes from the doctor. And I just didn't brake hard enough there. <laughs> oh, damn. Do struggle with the confidence on the brakes. Because there's no vibration, I'm a little bit torn on when to brake and how hard. 
So my Moto GP 23 instincts kick in, I'll just say, okay, we'll brake like 50% and then hopefully that'll be enough to slow the bike down. Spoiler alert, it usually isn't. And I have to brake a bit harder. Well, I can go nice and firm on the brakes there, and that's what is better. You gotta go full, full linear press as if you're a rookie in this game. Full linear press again. Look how much better we're braking there if we go full press. I have to keep saying that in my head there to, <laughs> so I can remember. Oh, wow. Over the mountain. Bouncing over the mountain. Looking like Josh Brooks almost. Well, maybe not that cool. No man is cool as Josh Brooks going over the mountain, let's be honest. Oh, well, then again, Ryan Vickers. Wow. Ryan Vickers can tackle the mountain with absolute ease. Certainly get some height. Looking like Michael Jordan. Now onto the brakes. Mm, I did brake harder there, but just didn't feel good. I actually feel better braking when the bike is in a higher gear than it is when a lower. But like, way too high. Onto the power. And into the left hand side. This is the park corner. Okay, full brake. Yeah, full brake. <laughs> That's... <laughs> it's only taking me like 200 hours to really get the hang of that. Full linear press. Be praised. Full linear press. No, I can't there. <laughs> that is so unnatural for me though. Yeah, it is again. Full... Full brake. Kind of makes a mockery of the simulation, really. I would not want to press the brakes this hard on an M1000RR around Cadwell Park out of all the places. Full press again. That is clearly the key, isn't it? It's oh my goodness, it's taken me so long to to just get braver with the brakes. I always wondered why I struggled with the brakes this game. There you go. Wow. We were temporarily airborne then, just ever so slightly. And we're actually gaining time on this one. Onto the power and across the line. This is not an improvement, it's identically the lap, same lap time. 127.802. This is going to be a good one. This is lap 9. I'm going to try and get 10 laps in for you today before we have a better look at the Cheshire Mouldings livery. Into the power hard on the brakes. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling better actually here. With the uh, St. Helens sponsor, Cheshire Mouldings, of course. I do believe that's where the office is. I might be incorrect, but I'm pretty certain it is. I tried to help Charlie look at uh, some of the logos a few days ago when he was making this and uh, stumbled upon that bit of knowledge. Not that far from myself. Hard on the brakes. Quick turn in. Oh, that's beautiful. We should have a nice, should have a good lap time here. Oh, it's a whole second quicker. Steady. Quick upshift to second so you don't lift over the mountain and go over towards the uh, the shop on the left hand side there. Oh, really pushing now. This bike is beginning to struggle with a soft front. Quick upshift there. Downshift back to first. Probably not necessarily actually. We had a second advantage but I did mess it up over the mountain. Across the line it is another improvement. So 127.102. Here in Cadwell Park. With the M1000 double R. RM, may I add, ladies and gentlemen. RM, don't forget that part. Can we improve? Oh, no, I'm not going to keep that on the track. <laughs> and by 34,000th of a second. Braking nice and early. Keep it in tight to the apex of park. Run it a bit deep. Not good. I'm going to lose a bit of time here. Hard on the anchors for the right hand side. Wait for the turn, wait for the turn. Didn't turn in a bit too late actually. On the brakes. Steady into Mansfield, steady. Oh that's a good, that's a good breaking point. That's good, that's good, that is good. I don't think we're gonna get that same advantage as we had. That was small wheelie. That small wheelie. Oh, we're over the curb. Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Pushing to the limits here. I thought I was going to crash that I really did. Ooh. 
Oh, <laughs> the front went without warning. Oh, damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, the final lap of today's video will not be an improvement. Our best time of a 127.102 for a quick session of Ride 5. Not bad. And you know what? Most importantly, I enjoyed that. So there you are then guys, those are my 10 lap times on screen right now. Not a great performance, but you know what? It has inspired me to come back and maybe start relearning the brakes in this game because clearly pressing hard on the brake there is benefiting me much better amongst the brakes. I mean, if I did that in Moto GP, I'm probably going to crash. So it's something I very much need to get used to. But nonetheless, I had fun there. Been able to show you the Cheshire Charlie uh, Cheshire Mouldings livery. Thought it looks fantastic, but you know what? Before we end this video, let's have a better look at it. So there it is, boys and girls. That is the livery in question. Maxed out on the old layer limit. He's uh, pretty much put everything possible that you can in the game without ruining the layer limit. So amazing job, Charlie. Absolutely love this. Fantastic piece of work. Can't wait to see what else we can come up with. And can't wait to see more British Superbike liveries within ride five ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching the video i certainly hope you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you in the next video ciao for now oh hi didn't quite see you there good to see you're still here if this video didn't quite set your appetite then why not watch some more dot trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now furthermore if you would like to follow me on social media you can do so now with the links down in the description consider subscribing so you don't miss a single dot trace video